Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've got one today that's pretty easy and straightforward, especially when you can see the two things side by side, but I've gotten a couple questions on this in the past and finally ended up in a convenient moment to demonstrate. What this is, is an MSATA SSD versus an M.2 SSD. I've had some people get confused or think these are interchangeable or that one is better than the other, which I think it kind of is as far as performance. I'm pretty sure if you have a choice, you want to go with the M.2 drive. But more often than not, what you're going to find is you can have one or the other. Typically not both. Or I suppose in some laptops, there's probably a WAN slot you could put one of these in, but you're probably going to be working with this guy. But as you can see, they are very different sizes, very different form factors. And M.2 drives actually can come in multiple lengths too. This is an M2 slot, and you'll see here this one says 2230, but up here it also says 2280. So those are the two different lengths this motherboard will support. I think those are maybe the only two lengths, but don't quote me. And of course, since I said that, I'm wrong. Did the lazy man's look up of the M.2 standard over on Wikipedia, and there's like a million different sizes of these things. Moral of the story is, just make sure you buy one that's going to fit your motherboard. It should be pretty easy to check. And if somehow you run into a weirdo situation, there are actually length adapters that you can get. Like you would just snap this guy off in the middle and have either that part or that part or the whole thing to use as a length adapter. Hopefully you'll never put yourself in that situation. That's probably why I'm having a hard time finding any that are available right now. Because I'm going to guess most people just never need to buy one. But you should be able to see multiple screw locations on your main board to determine what sizes you can also support with an M2. This is an M SATA port. And you'll see it's just got the one length available. That's all there is. I don't think I've ever seen them sold in different lengths, so I think M SATA is just M SATA. And that is what the M SATA looks like installed. And that's what an M2 looks like installed. So those are the basic physical differences between M.2 and M SATA. Once you see the two of them next to each other, it's almost impossible to mistake them. If you have any familiarity at all, it's pretty easy to compare an M2 drive to like a stick of old school chewing gum, like Big Red or something like that. The M SATA is in no way even close to the same shape. As soon as you look at your port, it'll either be identified in text right on it, or you should notice the form factors being quite a bit different right away. If this is something that you had on your mind that you weren't quite sure about. I hope this video helped you. As always, guys, I appreciate you stopping in for this video. We'll catch you on the next one. I'm Max, that's Saddington Bear, and we make videos like this all the time. Here are a couple links to some other videos we've made, and we really appreciate you guys stopping in.